Listen, I don't know what you're expecting from me. I mean, I'm just a New England boy out here trying to get my cardio in, running the dog so he's not a lunatic later in the day. <laughs> like, what do you expect me to do? Just all of a sudden break out of... Friends? Romans? Countrymen? Lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do live after them. The good is oft turned with their bones, so let it be, Caesar. The noble Brutus hath told you Caesar was ambitious. <laughs> if it were so, it was a grievous fault, and grievously hath Caesar answered it. Here, under leave of Brutus and the rest, for Brutus is an honorable man, so are they all, all honorable men. Come I to speak in Caesar's funeral. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. But <laughs> Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. He hath brought many captives home to Rome, whose ransoms did the general coffers fill. Did this in Caesar seem ambitious? When that the poor hath cried, Caesar hath wept. Ambition <laughs> should be made of sterner stuff, yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. You did all see that on the Lupercal I thrice presented him a kingly crown, which he did thrice refuse. Was this ambition? Yet Brutus... <laughs> Says he was ambitious, and sure, he is an honorable man. I speak not to disprove what Brutus spoke, but here I am to speak what I do know. <laughs> you all did love him once, not without cause. What cause withholds you, then, to mourn for him? Oh, judgment! Thou art fled to Brutus beasts, and men have lost their reason. Bear with me. My heart is in the coffin there with Caesar. And I must pause to have it come back to me. Yeah, I just, I, I, I don't know, man. Somebody could do it. Not a loser like me. <laughs>